Welcome to so much to talk about here at the world's most famous arena, Mass Square Garden. I'm talking to a true legend, not just a Nick legend, but an NBA legend, Mr. Walt Clyde Frazier. How are you, sir? Doing good, man. Holidays coming, very festive time. Hoping the Knicks can get it together. Exactly, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about. They showed a lot of strides in, in their world victories at Oklahoma City and Houston. Have lost three in a row now. Talk about what are the things that they're getting away from that started this three-game losing streak. They can't score. <laughs> you know, early on, the second unit was the catalyst. And now they've stopped scoring. Melo's struggle. Porzingis foul trouble. Uh, no transitional hoops. Ball movement. Uh, yeah, yeah, stagnation on the offense. So it's, it's been a potpourri of things that's bedeviling them right now. Can't win at home. World's most famous arena. Come on, man. They play better on the road. So they got to stop all of that tonight. They got to they got to get it right tonight. Oh, wow. and, uh, but, and talk about the progress of this team from the standpoint of where they were last year from this year with the veterans that have come on. And, of course, Zing, the Zinger himself. Yeah, there's no comparison. This year we have a lot more talent. Porzingis, I mean, you know, Williams, uh, Flalo, all the guys now. So, and, and our record indicates that. Early last year, we were nowhere near this number of wins. But uh, talent is not enough in this league. Look at Houston, they're very talented. <laughs> so, you got to have cohesion, continuity, uh, teamwork, you know, all of these things in order to be a winning team. Defense. So, that's what the Knicks are struggling for now the right combinations that can make them a winner. Uh, with you being such a magnificent guard in your day, talk about the guard play that we're seeing now from Stephen Curry and from Russell Westbrook, especially those two guys. Have you seen a level of excellence from two guards like that in the period of the game? Because you've seen it all, and you were one of those guys as well. You know, the athleticism of these guys, uh, Curry, the shooting ability, man, is uncanny. I, I never made a three. The three ball didn't come in until 1980. I, I retired in 1980, but he's the best I've seen. Uh, Westbrook, probably the most athletic point guard. I've seen Chris Paul. You can go down the line, all the different guys. So uh, uh, Irving, who hasn't even played with Cleveland, Tyree Irving. Yeah, so a lot of bona fide backcourt men. We'll see one. Well, Harden is more of a shooting guard, but another all in his hands. Yeah, another prolific guy that can penetrate, create a lot of havoc. So, a lot of dynamic guys in the NBA right now. And and, uh, and now speaking of dynamic guards, like Steph Curry, it's funny. I, I see a lot of Pete Maravich in him. It's kind of weird. What do you think about that? Well, he's getting to that point. He's really improved his handle. A lot of razzle dazzle, fancy dribbling. You know, his father could shoot like that, but he didn't have the handle. So that's what has separated Curry, man. And plus, he's gotten stronger. Can't push him around now. So uh, it's, it's uncanny what he's doing, the way he's shooting the ball. One more question for you, sir. Speaking of that cohesion and the Knicks of the early 70s, and, and you guys had so much balance with size of DeBusher and Willis Reed, and of course, the back and Jerry Lucas, and then the backcourt of yourself, and later on, Earl Pearl Moreau, who joined you for the second championship. Talk about what is your take about small ball and how the the post post play isn't really addressed anymore, and, and why are people deviating from it? Because it can be effective still, right? Well, that's where the league is going. It's a 6-7, six, 6-8 six, league. And who's the catalyst for that? Golden State. <laughs> With the success that they've had, man, just running and gunning. So everybody's trying to emulate them. Uh, well, what's happening? The big guy like Howard, you see Howard tonight, you can take them out of the game. You can double and triple team them. They have to give up the ball. Whereas Melo, the guys we're talking about, they can come on the perimeter and hurt you as well as go inside. And that's the versatility that the big guys are lacking now. So that's why it's become a small guy's game. The most potent shot is the three ball. Man, you you, know, you got to be able to compete against a team shooting threes. And you're making twos. You, you can't win. So that's the, the beauty of Golden State right now is that they have a, a, a chemistry of short guys, 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, they can nullify you even if you have a big guy out on the court. You can't get back. You can't compete and get him back. It's always a mismatch. So before, the big guy was a mismatch inside. But that's no longer true right now because of the zone defensive, being able to double team and uh, 
it's really changed the game. Someone like a Don Nelson, he's in Hawaii right now thinking like, God, I was ahead of my time. He was ahead of his time, a few years ahead of his time, right. But it didn't work for me back then, uh, or no one believed in it back then. Well, the three ball wasn't as prevalent. You know, it was in there, but the teams weren't shooting that many. Like, these guys used to shoot 31 a game, man. You know, last, when, when they first brought in the line, maybe they shot 10, seven. You know, if you watch some of the older games 10 years ago, they had the three-point lark, but nobody was back there running three-on-two guys with veering out shooting the three. You know, that's something I think transpired in the last three or four years. And, and one more question for you. What do you honestly think of Are you for that yourself as a, as a basketball connoisseur? As a purist, no. You know, I, 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 I've, when I see guys have a three-on-two and they veer out and shoot a three, a two-on-one, I'm like, what are they doing? But that's the game today. I have basketball camps. Every shot is a three. <laughs> the kids, every... It's like seven-year-olds. <laughs> every shot they put up is a three. It's like that line mesmerizes them, man. It's like a magnet, man. It's just not going to be pulling on you, man. They can't go inside for two steps. They got to come back, man. And if you watch a high school game, threes, colleges, that's... Soon they're going to be taking more threes than twos. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll see a four-point line, and then it'll even be worse. Right, right. Yeah, the Globetrotters have a four-point shot. <laughs> but, you know, the game is entertainment today, man. That's what people want. They want scoring. They want entertainment. You know, so they're giving it to them. I thank you for your time. I, I don't want to take too much of it. I know you're getting ready for your broadcast. Thank you so much for the honor, and uh, see you soon, definitely. Sure. Good job, man. Very provocative questions. Good. I appreciate that. Thank you.